Hey, good morning, everyone. It's a very chilly Saturday morning, June 10th, 2023. And I'm standing out here in the middle of the woods near Tuscarora Park Road, just north of Tamaqua. We've got a very special chase that we're doing today. And I'm partnering with Colin from PA and Northeastern Railfan to do this chase in a way I've never done it before. So what's happening this morning is a freight train is running from Reading to and actually through Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania on its way, I believe, to the Lee Heighton Yard to take, it's either 110 or 111 tanker cars for storage. And so Colin and I wanted to chase this train and my friend Ian from Lehigh River Subdivision is also out chasing this train. For one, it is going to be the longest Reading and Northern freight train I've ever chased by far, I think. My previous best was about 70 cars. But this is also unique too because it's going to pass through Jim Thorpe Station, so the route's a little different than what we're used to chasing. It was too unique of an opportunity to pass up, but it's also a fairly long chase, especially first thing in the morning. Now Colin and I, for a while, we've talked about doing a collaborative chase where he chases part of it, I chase part of it, and then we share our footage. So every location I'm going to, I'm going to be running two camera angles. I'm going to use one on this channel, and the second one's going to go to Colin. And Colin's going to do the same for me. He's going to share his footage with me. And we're both going to compile our own unique version of this chase. So even though I'm only chasing half of the route, you're going to see the entire chase. And I want to be sure you also go to PA and Northeastern Railfan to watch Colin's version of this chase. Because even though we're sharing the footage, you're going to see two completely different videos. This is the first time Colin and I are trying this, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it works out. So get your tickets out. Wait. No, don't do that. This is a freight train. I'd say hop on board, but that's not smart either. So just stand trackside at a safe distance and watch. Colin filmed the first seven locations, starting at the Tuckerton Road Bridge overlooking the North Reading Yard. Here the crew picked up the buffer car, then hooked up to the train. SD 50-2, number 5019, led the way with SD 40-2, number 3050, and SD 50-2, number 5018, providing additional horsepower.
Once the train reached Tuscarora Park Road, I started my half of the chase. Leapfrog made to film one more location from the Tuscarora Mountain Drive Bridge over East Mahanoy Junction.
from this point on, I shot the remaining locations. sure what's going on here folks but uh, I'm driving along 54 uh, in between Industrial Drive where I just filmed the Reading and Northern Complex the former KME facility in Nesquahoning and the train has simply stopped and my thinking is it's, it's supposed to be going through Jim Thorpe Station down to Lee Heighton however this morning is the running uh, the once a month weekend where they run the bike train and the first one of those departs at 9 15 a.m. It's 8 23 a.m. currently and They should be loading the bikes into the bike train uh, as of 8 15 and passenger boarding will begin at 8 45 I am wondering if they're gonna hold this train here until the bike train uh, goes through into Lehigh Gorge that would be my guess uh, we're coming up on the head end here. Now well, they are moving forward again. Okay, so I'm not sure. guess turned out to be correct. They held the train at Jim Thorpe Junction until the 915 bike train passed northbound on its way to Whitehaven.
The crew brought the tankers to Packerton Yard and stored them on the interchange track. Before the locomotives could return to the main line, they had to wait for the southbound train from Pittston to pass by. The locomotives returned up the east side of the river with the buffer car and rejoined the main line. This is the first time I have caught a train on the lower tracks. I hope you very much enjoyed this collaborative chase between me and Colin from PA and Northeastern Railfan. And if you enjoyed this version, check out the link in the description below and go to his channel and see his version of it. It'll be combined footage from both of us, and I hope you enjoy both of these. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the tracks.